Here's a fun fact about Incredible Bernie. Should I tell you? Okay. I'm the disc. Don't you forget it. I'm the disc. But, evil way viewers, how's it going? Mr. Incredible Bernie's bad guys. Roll the punches, baby. Welcome to Incredible Bernie Reacts. We're going to be doing a challenge. We haven't done this in a while. It's going to be one of those more attempt challenges where I actually do something special really and um today i'm going to be trying two different chocolates that's right specifically chocolatey from brawl of the objects she recently came to my house finally and she invited in her cousin from london so i have my serbia version of her here but she invited a cousin of hers from london so there's two different versions i have to try today to prove what is my favorite chocolate now I love me some chocolate every now and then, you know. Even if you don't love chocolate, which is completely fine, you would still watch films like Charlie and Chocolate Factory and like it, even though you don't like chocolate. Makes sense, right? You know? For example... Actually, I can't give an example because I actually don't know any of my friends. I don't know what they eat for treats. But my point is, I love me some chocolate and I haven't had my favourite chocolate since a video of mine over a year ago. Oh, and I think it was my reaction to Battle for Dream Island episode 4, but either way, let's do this. So here is the version of chocolate tea that I love, the Dairy Milk, specifically by Cadbury. Such a satisfying taste, gets better every time I try it, honestly. But I haven't had it in a long time, so I want to see exactly if I still think it's the best, because I recently was discovered by this, milk chocolate from the shop Tesco. I don't know, it took a while for this to arrive, trust me. So that's why it was a long time to make this video. But here we are, viewers. I'm gonna be trying these two different chocolates and see what is the best one. Dairy milk or milk chocolate? What is better? So we're gonna try it today and see which one I prefer. So, you know, typical dairy milk, classic creamy taste, sweet, 100% salt cocoa. Mm hmm. Interesting. Huh. 25% fat, not bad. Warning. Okay. Might cause obesity, doesn't matter about that. I can deal with it. Sugar, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, vegetable fats. Huh, may contain wheat and nuts. Well, squirrels love nuts. What else can you do about it? Really? 1.5 grams of protein? That's interesting. In hmm. Well, I'm ready for that. And the milk chocolate, specially blended milky squares, perfect for sharing. It starts off watery, but then gets creamy. Now that's a phrase I've heard before, but not in this context. Hmm. Allergy advice. May contain peanuts and nuts. Interesting. Dried whole milk, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, emulsion, sulfur, sunflower lick, sunflower lick, lickithic. The lecithins, lecith. What the fuck is that? Lecith, sunflower, lecith, lecithins. What? What kind of ingredients are they putting in these? Flavoring. Okay, that's for the flavoring, I guess. Sugar and it's dried. Hmm. Let's see how the let's see how the grams work here. So, oh, this one has one point five grams, but the milk chocolate. Only has 9.9 .9 grams in protein. Quite a lot. Huh. This one has more fat. This one gives you more energy. Fiber. Oh, fuck the fiber. This has more salt as well. Well, I guess we should try and see which one I love. Dairy milk or milk chocolate. Let's try them together. Let's start off with the classic dairy milk. And I actually have some plates here to help me. And the reason why I have Trixie here is because she thought I was gonna make a coffee challenge. I'm not, it's a chocolate challenge. She misheard me and when Trixie needs her chocolate, she needs her coffee, I mean. She can't stand some chocolate, but she does love her coffee, so that's good enough. The only snack she eats are pretzels. But either way, let us see. Look at that. That is chocolatey right there, viewers. My favorite character from Ball of the Objects. I'm ready to try some part of you, girl. Whew. 
So, let us see. Mm. Nice. Good aftertaste, crunchy. Have a, has a bit of a harden to it, but gets softer as you keep chewing. Hmm. It's good. It's actually really good. Satisfying. That's a very important key here. As long as your treat is satisfying, that means it's a good taste. That's where the taste goes away. And now, the milk chocolate. Another plate. Hmm, there is a difference. These things, these don't have curves on their shapes and they don't even have words on it. They look more plain as well. Hmm. They almost, rem they almost resemble the chocolate bars a little bit from the SpongeBob episode. Hmm. Did you say chocolate? Let's give this a try. Interesting. Much softer, easier to chew, I will say that. But not the most satisfying aftertaste, if I'm being honest. Like, I don't know what I don't know what people in London put in their food, but here in Serbia we just put all kinds of random bull crap in our food, okay? Hmm. I will say, this one is easier to chew, but for some reason, it almost has that dark kind of flavor. Maybe it has something to do with the uh, sunflower lecession. What is that? Substance inside of it, but it's still good. But the dairy milk, I think is more satisfying. So, so sorry about that, Chocolatey's cousin. Milk chocolate is good, viewers, but it's not the most satisfying chocolate in the world. That will definitely have to go with the original one, the Cadbury's Dairy Milk. That is still my favourite chocolate to this day. It will not change. So, that is it. Mmm. Oh. Love it. Anyway, hope that video was fun for you guys. And what is your favourite chocolate in the world, if you like chocolate, that is. And I will see you all in my next video. If you enjoyed this particular one, leave a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested. Follow me on Instagram, link down below. And until then, stay positive, keep calm, stay safe, be incredible. And as always, brony on. Peace.